Hello, today we're going to explore the FET simulation featuring density. For step number one, we're going to open the simulator and explore. So click on this link in your interactive notebook, and when the simulation opens, click compare. The note and notice portion on this page is showing us that we're going to use three different sections of this simulation. First, let's take a look at the same mass section. To get there, you're going to go ahead and click the words same mass. Then, drag and drop the blocks into the water. Observe what happens. Continue playing with this section of the simulator until you're ready to write a summary statement. Then return to your notebook page. Here, you need to write a note and notice statement about something that you discovered of items of the same mass when they're placed into a container of water. Next, we're going to go back into the simulator and explore the volume of shapes. Click here to change the simulator to show items of the same volume. You can see that each of these items has the same volume and yet their mass is different. Then explore. See what happens when items of the same volume are placed into the water. Then return to your notebook and write a note and notice statement about items of the same volume. The next section of the FET simulator that we're going to explore is the same density. So click on this button to change the items to all have the same density. You can see that their mass is different and the volume of each cube is different. But what happens when you place each one in the water? Do your exploration and then return to your notebook and write a note and notice statement. For the next section, we're going to answer these four true and false questions using the simulator. So if it says same mass, you're going to go to the simulator and click the same mass section and then manipulate the items on the page to help you answer the question. Repeat that for each of the true and false questions. If you discover a statement is true, delete the false. If you discover a statement is false, then delete the true. For this next section, we're going to explore the intro section on the FET simulation so that we can sort these cards by dragging and dropping them onto this green arrow based on density. When you open up the simulator, click this plus sign to expand this panel. This will reveal the density of several different items. To investigate different items, you're going to click over here and click the drop list. This will show you styrofoam, wood, ice, brick, and aluminum. While you're doing your investigation, what you want to explore are these note cards. Find out what the density is of an item that sinks quickly. Then drag and drop it somewhere on this green line, based on the density of the item that you discovered that sinks quickly. Continue exploring all of these items until you've identified the density of items that sink quickly, barely float, float well, and barely sink. The final section we're going to explore is also in the intro section on the simulator. Choose any item you want from the item list. For my example, I'm going to use the brick. Type the name of your item here and here, and go back into the simulator. To click your item, click here. Then open up the density panel so you can see the density of your item. In your notebook page, you're asked to record the mass, the volume, and the density of your item. The mass of your item can be found here. The volume of your item can be found here. And the density of your item is listed over here. Record those values here in your chart. Next, you need to increase the mass and the volume for your particular item. And then re-record the new mass, the new volume, and the new density of your item. The last question on your page is asking you to look at your data and determine if you increase the mass and volume of an item the density will increase. Is this a true or is this a false statement? If it's true, delete the F and leave the true on your page. If it's false, delete the true and leave the F on your page. If you're not sure how to answer this question, look here and here on your chart and compare these two densities. Hopefully, this guide took you through the FET simulation and allowed you to better understand density.